Hello my creative friends, I'm Heather North from heathercreativeblessings.com. Last week on Stamp Nation, we had our Inspiration Nation event. Maureen Merritt put together these amazing collages to inspire our creativity. And today I'm going to take my inspiration from one of the pictures in one of the collages, that balloon with the sparkly gold and pink. So I pulled out the Balloon Celebration Stamp Set from Stampin' Up! and the Love Blossoms Designer Series Paper Stack. Now on the front of these stacks, they have the names of each of the ink colors that are used, which is really helpful. So I pulled out Blushing Bride and Crumb Cake, and that's what I'm going to use, as well as a little bit of Soft Sky. You might notice a pool of ink when I stamp out the bigger balloon, and that is because I didn't get the stamp flush against the clear block, so the ink kind of pulled around it, but it really dries back so that you barely even notice it, and once I add the stamping on top of it with the gold ink, you're not even going to see it at all. So I'm going to take the little dotted images, and I'm going to stamp it out with some Golden Glitz Delicata ink. Now you could stamp this just with the white background, and that's Whisper White cardstock by the way, and you'll end up with a white balloon, kind of like the picture had. Um, and I wasn't really sure whether I wanted to do it that way or if I wanted the pink, so I just did it both ways. You could also take some pink ink and stamp over that gold. You'll probably notice that I used a wet wipe, a baby wipe, to clean off my stamps. That's because that gold is a pigment ink. and um, it's just easiest to use something disposable like a wet wipe, a baby wipe to clean it off. So here I'm going to stamp or punch out my white balloon with that balloon punch. And you'll notice it's a dual punch. So you want to be really careful where you're punching when you do this. Or you could just punch it to start with um, and then stamp after. But I didn't think of that. Here's the white and gold and the pink and gold. I like both of them and I think I will be using the Blushing Bride one today, but I might go back and use those white ones in another time. I die cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock with the journaling tag die from Sugar Pea Designs for the Stamp of Approval Young at Heart collection. And I'm going to stamp out one of the greetings from Ten of Cards from Stampin' Up! with Crumb Cake Ink. Now if you don't have that die, you can just cut your own rectangle or use any stitched rectangle die, a regular rectangle die for that matter. I just like the little detail that st the stitching adds. Now I'm going to add the balloon strings and again I'm going to use some of that crumb cake ink. And then I'm going to take the sweet little bow that's also included in this uh, balloon celebration stamp set and I'm going to stamp that in blushing bride ink. After I stamp the bow I'm going to add some clouds to the sky and I'm going to be using some soft sky ink for those clouds. I'm also going to overlap them a little bit. Now I get to assemble everything together. So I have a standard card base, four and a quarter by five and a half, and then I cut this designer series paper to the same size. And I'm using Tombow Mono Multi Glue to adhere it. I like using glue in this um, instance because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. I can kind of move it around where I want it to go before it completely dries. But I prefer tape, so I use snail to adhere this little three quarter inch strip of paper. And I'm just going to use my paper snips to cut off the extra. And then I'm going to adhere my panel with some dimensionals. Now, it's getting a little ridiculous. I'm using almost all of the different adhesives that Stampin' Up! carries. And in fact, I should have used crystal effects on top of those balloons to make them kind of shiny, look like mylar. But I was in a hurry and wanted to send this card out, didn't want to wait for it to dry. So I put on a lot of dimensionals. I do that because I want it to be one even layer all the way across and because it's going to be mailed. So I don't want it to get crushed. I could have used more dimensionals on the balloons, but it was already up one layer, and like I said, I'm going to mail this, so I pulled out my glue dots, and I'm going to adhere the balloons with glue dots. Now you could adhere all of these with just one adhesive, either the snail or the Tombow. You do not need to use every single one of them, but you know what, if you've got it, why not, right? <laughs> So I'm just adding a glue dot. You can add two glue dots if you want it to pop up just a little bit more. Two glue dots on top of each other. And then I'm just arranging these onto the strings that I had stamped.
At this point, I'm going to grab one of these candy dots. I decided to go with the one that was closest to the cloud color. I could have added some crystal effects or glossy accents to my balloons at this point to make them shiny, but like I said, I was mailing this card and I was in a hurry. So that is my card for today. I will have a supply list down below for you, and over on my blog I'll have some pictures. If you like this card, please give me a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel to see more videos from me. I hope that you find some time today to get a little bit creative. Bye!